Hi, my name is John Jaramillo, and I am Colombian. Hi, I'm Jasmine Blendon, and I'm Colombian and African American. My name is Octavio Roberto, I'm Cape Verdean, African American. My name is Fabio Di Carvalho, and I'm Cape Verdean. My name is Dominica da Costa, and I'm Italian and Portuguese. Hi, my name is Larry Logan, and I'm Portuguese and African American. Hi, my name is Gianna Bullard, and I'm African American. I'm Anthony Valdez, and I'm Colombian. My name is Madison Danforth, and I am German and Dutch. My name is Lauren Rose, and I decided to make a video about the diversity here in Lincoln High School. Approximately 13% of the students here are minorities, and I want to discuss about it. I decided to put together a group of students of multiple races to talk about the diversity and issues we have here at Lincoln High School. Do you think that we are a diverse school? Um, I think, I think <laughs> in terms of the students, it is pretty diverse, but in terms of faculty, um, it's not. I also think different teachers can share like different experiences on how they became teachers and struggles that different teachers went through based on their backgrounds and stuff. I think it would be good to have a different representation of different like races and teachers, seeing as most of the teachers in the school are Caucasian. So I feel like new students would be more welcome to the school. Yeah, and if there was like more of a diverse like setting with the faculty, we can like learn like different history and different events through different like perspectives. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool instead of just one lens that we have right now. How can we do better with diversity? That's a, that's a hard question because in terms of like having the students be diverse, I mean we live in Lincoln and it's a predominantly white town. It's targeted for white people, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's supermarkets, take care of the streets, you know what I mean, things like that. In terms of faculty, that has to do with like just um, the education system in general, like why aren't there a lot of black teachers, period, or teachers of color, period. They're always either substitutes or that's a different issue. But I really don't know is my answer to that question. I think it would be beneficial if we started with the black teachers with younger kids. Because mm -hmm. you know, the younger kid mind is very like, you know, open, open, free. Like, you know, it's better to train them, not train them, I don't want to make them seem like dogs, but <laughs> it's better to like, you know, kind of drill into their head of like, it's okay, like, you know, black teachers everywhere is like a good thing, like, you know, in the black history. Started young, so that way it's morphed into an adult. Yeah, it's definitely easier to like experience something when you're young, and then you grow up not even like thinking, like thinking about it. Then when you're exposed to it when you're older, and then you kind of have to like adapt it into your life. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like talking about what you said earlier about the parents. Like your parents went through a whole different time period. No, yeah. And it looked completely different than where we are now. But obviously they're your parents, so they're gonna impose things on you, they're going to put their thoughts on you about everything. So it's, it's hard for a child to like, you know, see what's right and wrong when they're being told by, you know, your parent. So I think that's a, another thing that's going on right now that I see is kind of difficult. Um, and like, I think going back, learning in school and being exposed to that would be really helpful. And that might contribute to our school being more diverse, which is yeah. what you're and I think like starting from the young age even with the teachers, like because it, like now especially in the media, not just in the media but like in like schools too, like we have like people that are just ignorant to what they should not be saying or doing things that are offensive. But in some cases they know it's wrong, but in a lot of cases they they don't. Yeah. And I feel like learning that from a young age like would really benefit. Like so they know why they shouldn't be saying it. Yeah. So. So I had Miss Bacosi walk around with the camera to get different angles of the students talking. And I think that's what put a lot of pressure on them. And I think they got really nervous about that because they're not used to the camera. And when she walked away to help another student out, they were a lot more vocal off camera than they were on camera. I know we're not talking, but how many things did you get? Just, just maybe 47 answer. responses. Wow. wow. Yeah. But also think about how many kids there are on this school. There's like, what, 800? Yeah. So, and 13% of us are minorities. Well, think about it, that's, most of them are Caucasian, no? Aren't they? No. Because I have, you if you guys want to know. Have we we don't have 47. So we don't have American for, uh... I was being vocal when the camera's off. Well, this one's rolling, this one's rolling. So, uh, if you want some background information. Uh, for, uh, when I asked the question, do you think we should learn more about black history, 
Four students said no. Um, do you think it would be a more welcoming school if the teachers and faculty were more diverse? And five students said no. That's a little background information. Do you have the percentage? Like how many said yes then? How many said yeah, how many said yes for are we more welcoming school? 42 said yes. And should we learn more about black history? It's 43. 42%? No. How many? How many? How many? How many? I sent it to the whole school. Oh, yeah. And only 47 people responded? Oh, I didn't. Think. Anyways, back to my question. Do you think our sports teams are diverse? I think our sports teams are diverse, but maybe we don't have as many uh, diverse pe uh, people on our team as other teams. Mm -hmm. Maybe because because our school is mainly Caucasian, and it's not as compared to like others and other schools. Uh, this year, especially the basketball team, we had uh, kids from all different types of backgrounds. And usually football, we have a diverse, t diverse team, but I say coaches aren't really diverse. I think almost all our coaches are Caucasian. Do you feel like we should learn more about black history? Yes, I think we should learn about black history because um, well, this is where we're all from. Well, me, Fabio, Jacqueline, and Gianna, that's where we're from, so, and there too, so we should all learn about how our ancestors came up and what they had to go through. I feel like with that being said, it does, this goes back to like having like a whole bunch of like Caucasian teachers, like it's kind of awkward for like kids of our color when we're talking about black history and they're like looking directly at you when they speak about something like slavery or something, they look directly at you and it's just like, what are you looking at? Like, yeah, I feel like if you want to be a diverse school, you have to learn about black history. And I agree with Gianna because, you know, maybe it will feel uncomfortable to have a Caucasian teacher teaching you about black history, you know. Yeah, and there's also like, there's a lot of stuff that I know me and a lot of my other friends of color didn't know and weren't aware of. Um, and I think we should be learning things like that in school, like things like redlining and like just different black history. Um, yeah, it's just, and it, it, there's a lot of microaggression like um, with teachers talking about slavery, slavery, you get the looks and it's it's uncomfortable. So. Makes you feel like you're very out of place. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever felt uncomfortable on school grounds due to someone judging the color of your skin? I mean, I've heard uh, comments that made me feel some some type of way, but it's not like I give much import, import, importance to it, you know? I'm not I like I'm not gonna let that phase me or anything, but I'm tired of it. I just feel as though like sometimes when like certain comments are said, we're supposed to like just be like, okay, that's fine, like and just turn the turn the other cheek. You know, yeah, yeah. When like, I feel like we should be able to speak up and be vocal, but we'll be accused of being Yeah, if we speak up and be vocal it's like you're doing too much, out. or yeah, or you're so, at yeah. a... It's almost like they're looking for us to get a reaction out yeah. of us. Yeah. You know, they tell jokes sometimes, like, you hear it all the time, but like... Yeah. Yeah, I just think we should, like, be proud of who we are, you know? Because sometimes the best way, the best response is the, to not say anything. And I honestly think, like, if we were more knowledgeable on black history, a lot of that stuff wouldn't happen at all. Like. Uh, I think other kids or everyone would just be aware like what's wrong, what's right, what you what you can and cannot say, what might hurt someone's feelings, what might not. But yeah. we just we some people just genuinely don't know. So. Yeah, it's almost like we're living in a bubble because it's not okay to have people that have no clue about Black history. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I actually put out a poll at the beginning of the week, and I want to read one of the comments because I kind of this conversation. Person said, I think the school could be more diverse. For the year I've been in Lincoln High School, I've never had a teacher that is a person of color. The students are also very stereotypical about people of color, and I have seen firsthand a white student not being held accountable for their actions. The students of color are always held accountable. I think there's a lot of truth behind that. I mean, I think um, in regards to the diversity of the faculty, I didn't, and I think like because I'm white, but I didn't really realize until you sent out like the question and that you were doing this discussion, I didn't really realize, I hadn't thought about the diversity of the faculty. Like I'd always thought that we were, we were a pretty diverse school, um, but then when you mentioned the faculty, it really like got me thinking about it. I didn't realize that 
like thinking back on all of my teachers, like uh, yeah, I've never had like a teacher of color, not just um, like in Lincoln High School, but like even back to like middle school and elementary school, mm -hmm. like it made me realize like, wow, I haven't had a teacher of color, but I think also like being white, like I haven't like thought about that, do you know what I mean? Like I feel like for a person of color, they, it's, you just automatically realize that and I guess I just like haven't needed to think about it, if you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you sent out that thing, it really like forced you to think. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I feel like we should talk about it more, okay. so you know people can realize it. Because not not everyone is going through what we go every day. So I mean, I understand that some people don't know. So you know, that's the reason why I think sometimes we should just talk about it more. Yeah, absolutely not. The number of racist comments and microaggressions I faced in high school alone are one too many. Our school doesn't promote culture such diverse events either. Even through we have things like variety show and spirit week. <coughs> I just feel like that right there goes to show how many people just don't care. And they ignore it, like they choose to ignore it. Mm -hmm. um, and that happens with a lot of things, like even on social media, right? Like you see a lot of, a lot of things were being posted during uh, like this time last year with all the events that happened. And you could see the ignorance right there. Like there was a lot of people who chose to not even just learn about it. Like not even necessarily take a stance and say where you are, or where you, what you believe, but choose to ignore the facts of the situation and what goes on. Um, and then it, it just makes everything worse. So, and I think that goes back into learning about black history. If we were to learn, um, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, and I feel like it's all about like your upbringing too. And I feel like if we are all taught about more black history, maybe we can influence our kids to be that way. And they grow up knowing about black history and then their kids grow up with knowing it. And it can just like, only bring positive like reinforcement as like generations and generations grow. Yeah, because we gotta start some out. Exactly. I can agree with that and slightly disagree because it's also some people are very like stubborn. Like mm -hmm. you know how some people are, you can't save everybody at the end of the day. So with teaching it, at the same time it's very beneficial. But like what is it gonna do if their parents are teaching them one way and that's the only way they're seeing? Right. But I think even just being exposed to it, like there's a lot of people here who aren't even exposed to it. So I think even just seeing like, you know, both the sides, having it both out in front of you and being able to like differentiate and, you know, pick a side for whatever you believe, like pick whatever you believe in, I still I think it still be beneficial. Just being knowledgeable because knowledge is power. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. Like even though it's like there are options to choose to learn it, learn it or not, we just we got we got at least trying to do it. Yeah. So ask yourself, is Lincoln High School a diverse school? Have you ever felt uncomfortable on school grounds due to someone judging the color of your skin? Did you judge someone because of the color of their skin? It's a situation we have to address. We can't keep ignoring the problem. Hopefully sometime in the future, other students will come together and create more videos about the issues within Lincoln High School. I want to thank you to everyone that helped me create this video and the students that sat down at the table and got to talk to me about all the problems I wanted to discuss. It was a great group of students and I wish the best of luck to everyone. Thanks. Can I just say something before you go on? You guys are so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.